on we're now in our next video in science technology and society course or playlist we're still in our chapter and specific issues in science technology and society and in this video we're going to talk about more about the information age we're now on this topic of the computer and its types or the types of computers so what is a computer a computer is an electronic device that stores and processes data or information okay that's what a computer does um, in history, when we say way back then, okay, when we say computer as not an electronic device, actually we, we think of it as a human person, the one that computes, okay, the days where there's no no more or no, no um, calculators yet, okay, no um, computer machines or computers yet. So computer is like it's like a profession or a job. You compute. You are a computer. Okay, so computers now, as we think of it, are electronic devices, okay, like laptops, cell phones, um, desktop computers, and the like. So those are computers. Um, computers run on a program that contains the exact step-by-step -step directions to solve a problem. So whatever we input in the computer, the computer processes it and gives us an output. Now we talk about the types of computers. Okay, so first, every time we, we we say the word computer, this is the one magical thing that pops out in in our minds. So we call this a personal computer. Okay, though there are types of personal computers. So personal computer is a single user instrument. So there's there should only be a single one, um, a single person using it. So known as microcomputer microcomputers in some, since they were a computer. Um, they were a computer but built on a smaller scale. Okay, again, you may imagine a computer way back then, like the NIAC, NIAC that you that we have talked about previously. Um, those are computers that, that occupy a whole house, okay, a whole room at least. Okay, so the, when the personal computer um, was in, was introduced, so of course it's a single user instrument right now. No more anymore. People who will be plugging in and plugging out wires for you. So there are types of personal computers. Um, the first one is what we call a desktop computer. Uh, specifically this one, this is a desktop computer. So why is it a desktop? Because you put it on the top of a desk. <laughs> okay, simple as that. A personal computer that is not designed for portability. Okay, so what you need when you have a, a desktop computer, you will need what we call a workstation. So a desktop computer that has a more, more powerful processor, additional memory, and enhanced capabilities for performing special groups of tasks okay so we call that a workstation okay so that's another uh, sorry that's another type of desktop computer sorry okay which has more power so another type of uh, that of uh, personal computer is what we call now uh, very famous laptops okay laptops are portable computers that integrate the essentials of a desktop computer only in a battery operated package and you can bring it wherever you want Okay, um, desktop computers should be are wired, so they should be they should be um, um, plugged in um, from an outlet, an electric outlet, so that it will it will run. But here, laptops are are run by via battery, so you could bring it wherever you want, and it's again it's portable. Next is even portable, as we we're saying, are the PDAs. Okay, not the other one, the personal display of affection. No, personal digital assistant. So, tightly integrated computers that usually have no keyboards but rely on a touchscreen for user print. Commonly known as cell phones. Personal digital assistant. So, PDA is a cell phone. Typically smaller than a paperback, lightweight, and battery powered. So, these are personal digital assistants. If you really want the technical term for a cell phone or a smartphone, we call that a PDA, personal di digital assistant. Next one, we talk about servers. So a server is a computer that has been improved to provide network services to other computers. So this is a server. We call that a server computer. Okay, and then the others are the others are computer one, computer two, like client one, client two, things like that. It depends on what you name it. Commonly computer one, computer two, and such. So usually boast powerful processors, tons of memories, and large hard drives. So that's what a server does. Next, is, next are mainframes. Mainframes are huge computer systems that fill an entire room. Like for example, these are, this is a mainframe used by large firms that process millions of transactions every day. Every day. So we use that, uh, large companies use that. 
seven this is becoming a trend right now so we call these wearable computers such as this one okay the smartwatch so uh, materials are, that are usually integrated into cell phones watches and other small objects or places so perform they perform common computer applications such as databases emails electronic mails multimedia and schedules okay so those are the different types of computers so we have discussed them one by one so we have the desktop computer under the desktop computers we have the or rather personal computers sorry personal computers and under the personal computers we have the desktop computers and the laptops then we have the personal digital assistant or the cell phones or the smartphones we have the servers we have mainframes and we have of course the last one um which is wearable computers like the smartphones or smart watches okay so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope that you would like this video and subscribe to my channel so thank you very much